Hello students, welcome to the new subject, Analog and Digital Electronics, 18 CS 33. I am Imlo Shaini, Department of CSC, Sri Sairam College of Engineering. First, we will see about uh, uh, Analog and Digital Signal, Analog and Digital Representation, Analog and Digital System. Analog and Digital Representation. In Analog Representation, a quantity, it may be any physical quantity, is represented by a continuously variable proportional indicator. For example, we can say speedometer and thermometer output. Their outputs are in analog form. Uh, in digital representation, the quantities are represented. It are not represented by continuously variable indicator. They are represented by symbols. These symbols are called digits. Digits are zeros and ones. Uh, example: digital thermometer and digital speedometer. Their outputs are dig in digital form. Uh, so, in simple way, we can state this analog and digital. In analog is a continuous signal, digital is a discrete signal, means step by step. Next is digital and analog system. A digital system is a combination of a device designed to manipulate a logical information or physical quantity that are represented in digital forms, means uh, uh, the, uh, the quantity will be taking only discrete values. Um, mostly these devices are uh, electronic devices only but uh, they can also be mechanical or magnetic next analog system analog system contains devices um, which manipulates the physical quantity that are represented in analog form uh, in analog form the quantities can vary over a continuous range of uh, values example we can say amplitude of the output signal to the speaker in a uh, radio output radio output that that device can have any uh, input from zero to its maximum limit next uh, advantages of digital uh, te techniques there are so many advantages uh, uh, rather than the analog techniques in digital techniques digital systems are uh, easier to design uh, the the information can be stored easily and digital uh, devices are less less affected by noise and uh, here um, programmed can be possible uh, next accuracy and precision are uh, easily maintained here and more digital uh, circuits can be fabricated in a single ic so next we'll move on to the uh, sub syllabus semiconductor so first one is semiconductor diodes so first i'll be explaining about diodes so what is diode so diode is a two terminal electronic component that conduct electricity in a single direction it has high resistance in one side and low resistance on the other side these devices are used to protect the circuits by limiting the voltage and also to transform ac to dc ac current to dc current hence it is called as rectifier used to convert ac to dc uh, semiconductor material like silicon and germanium are used to make this diode next is uh, diode construction so this is the standard uh, diode symbol a triangle adjoining the line uh, the terminal connected to the flat surface of the triangle is uh, called as anode and the other end is known as cathode the current always flows from anode to cathode uh, so as i said earlier the uh, can, uh, diodes can be made up of either uh, silicon and uh, germanium semiconductor materials anode is made up of p type material and cathode is made up of n type material the p type semiconductor material is formed by adding trivalent uh, impurities to the pure or intrinsic semiconductor but the n type semiconductor is formed by adding pentavalent uh, impurity to the pure or uh, intrinsic semiconductor see this is p type material n type material the p type semiconductor in p type semiconductor these are the holes holes are the majority carriers uh, and free electrons are the minority charge carriers in n type material free electrons are the majority charge carriers and holes are the minority charge carriers p n junction p type when the p type semiconductor is joined with the n type semiconductor then p n junction is formed so at the at the area where the p type semiconductor is joined with the n type semiconductor that is called p n junction uh, in n type semiconductor this is called n type semiconductor in n type semiconductor large number of free electrons are available 
also uh, due due to this they get repelled from each other and they are attracted uh, by the holes from p side so they will be interested to move from n type to uh, p type so n type is uh, high concentration region so electrons are moving from high concentration region that is from n side to low concentration region that is p side so when the free electrons from n side attracted towards the uh, holes at p side they started moves from n type n side to p side similarly holes are moving from p side to n side uh, diffusion this is the process by which charge carriers charge carriers or electrons are and holes in a semiconductor moves from high concentration region to low concentration region that process is called diffusion so here we can see this is a p type material holes are the charge carriers majority charge carriers they are moving from p side to n side and in the n side electrons are the majority charge carriers that moves from n side to p side so this is called diffusion next is depletion region the depletion region or a depletion layer uh, is a region in a p type semiconductor diode where no mobile charge carriers are present uh, means in a depletion region de depletion region acts like a barrier that opposes the flow of electrons from n side and holes from p side so these are the diffused electrons in the p side these are the diffused holes in the n side next bias there are two types of biasing in a diode forward biasing and reverse biasing forward biasing when the supply voltage when the supply voltage positive of the supply when the positive of the supply voltage is connected with p type p region and uh, negative is connected with n region it is called forward bias reverse bias when the negative of this power supply is connected with the p region and the positive of power supply is connected with n region is called reverse bias next type of uh, diodes there are uh, so many types of diode junction diodes zener diode tunnel diode scott key corrector diode triac scr light emitting diode photo diode so many types of diodes are there uh, in our syllabus we are going to uh, see about led photo diode and optocouplers here i am going to discuss about photo diode photo diode is one of the type of diode it's a light sensitive junction semiconductor device that converts light energy into electric current or voltage here you can see this is a pn junction when the pn junction is eliminated by the light the current or voltage will be produced by the device the band gap energy eg decides the spectral response of the device uh, in photo diode we use light of photons as the external energy to generate the charge carriers in the depletion region so next we'll see about construction uh, this is the top of the diode the top of the diode is uh, protected by uh, silicon dioxide is silicon dioxide here you can see one window this is uh, this window is used to allow the light to shine on the pn junction this window is uh, coated with a thin layer of anti reflective layer of uh, silicon nitride and here anode aluminum anode is connected to the p layer next to the p layer we have n layer next to the n layer we have highly doped in region this is n plus region means highly doped n plus region aluminum cathode is taken out from highly doped n region between the p region and n region we have depletion region layer so when the light is illuminated when the light is illuminated <coughs> to the p n junction uh, so we can that we can see in working working principle so uh, we have to see we, we can see two things here first light is eliminated in the pn junction then the pn junction is reverse bias so first when the light is illuminated to the pn junction the photo induced charge carriers will be developed across the uh, depletion region the photo induced charge carriers are electrons in the conduction band of p type material and holes in the valence band of n type material uh, so next when the pn junction is reverse bias so reverse biasing is nothing but connecting negative terminal to the p region and positive terminal to the n region so when the pn junction is uh, reverse biased the photo induced charge carriers moves from so that means the electrons moves from p region to n region and holes 
moves from n region to p region so because of this movement the current flow started flowing next we have characteristics voltage and current characteristics of photodiode so here the, uh, the graph is plotted between forward voltage bias forward voltage bias and reverse voltage bias forward current and reverse current here you can see this is dark current when the when the light is not illuminated dark current next uh, here the light intensity is increasing so as the light in intensity is increasing the curve started shifting downwards so this is the character VA characteristics of photodiode so last one application uh, so where and all we can use this photodiode the photodiodes are used a small detector circuit, uh, these are used in compact disc player, TV remote and the camera light meter, street light and this is also used to measure ex exact intensity of light in science and in uh, uh, industries. So that's it. Thank you.